<laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the last one I'm actually going to talk about. I got a few games up there that I've reviewed that I that may go into the permanent collection. We'll see, um, and a few others that will not. Um, but anyway, this is the last shelf I'm actually going to show you here. Um, so this is the last of the series. It's we've been on a journey, and I feel bad. It's been about an hour for me. Um, but this is Company of Heroes. This game is phenomenal. I think this game kind of killed Tide of Iron for me a little bit. But it's a great World War II game. It's based on the video game. Very fun. Very, very good uh, game. It's got some fun miniatures and stuff and terrain that you can add to it. And I've got the solo and co-op expansion. Um, so it's a great game system. Tremendous game system. I think... I can't. I don't know if they've done the second Kickstarter for it yet, but, but you should jump on that because this is just a phenomenal game. This is my DVG section. I've got Napoleon, Field Commander Napoleon, which is all these great, it's a solitaire game, all these great little scenarios where you're fighting Napoleonic battles. Really fun. These are kind of the Dave Thompson designs here that I really like. Soldiers and Postman uniforms, the most recent that came out. You're essentially fighting um, the Germans at the very beginning of World War II in, in Poland, um, at, in uh, Danzig. Uh, Castle Itter, right at the very end of the war, you've got the Americans battling the Germans, but you also have Germans battling Germans and Austrians battling Germans and French battling Germans. Um, and it's it's a tremendous uh, system right there at the end of the war. Tremendous game system and a wonderful, wonderful um, gameplay. I've done I've done at least one uh, I've done at least one um, playthrough of that game. Live playthrough. Pavlov's House, I did a live playthrough of this one. This is Battle of Stalingrad um, where you're trying to hold out uh, on the um, the the building the house and you're trying to uh keep all the dirty germans at bay very fun game really like pavlov's house as well so here i've got um origins of world war ii which is a great kind of diplomatic game as you can see this one's pretty old this game came out in 1972 or 73 as i recall it's older than old cody but it's a great fun game kevin my friend kevin introduced me to that one really liked it and then finally i've got great war commander which is the um World War I version of the uh, Combat Commander Europe. I'm really debating of keeping this one because I've got Combat Commander Europe, which I like better, and this one's a little more complicated, and I like it, and it's fun, but I just don't know if I'm going to get this one to the table as much. So I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. But what do you think? You like these games? Should I get rid of them? Uh, any I should get rid of, I should ask. Let me know. Um, okay, well, hey, this has been fun exploring Cody's game shelf, and... Um, Maybe I might do these later once I go through another cycle of games. And I, like I say, I do have more games than this, but they're in different places. A lot of them are in tubs, so I won't, be, I won't really go into detail with those. But these are most of the games I currently own that have earned permanent places on my shelf. All right. Uh, thanks once again for joining me, and uh, take it easy. We'll talk to you later. Please somebody help me.